हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्विक लर्न वेबसाइट मैंने क्विक लर्न में रिसेंटली एक वेबसाइट लॉन्च की है ये है www.quick-learn.in इस वेबसाइट में मैंने जितने भी यूट्यूब में वीडियो डाले हैं उनके सबके नोट्स आपको यहाँ मिल जाएंगे तो यहाँ पे आप क्विक लर्न के ब्लॉग वाले सेक्शन में जाइए तो ये ब्लॉग सेक्शन में आप जैसे ही जाओगे क्लिक करोगे तो ये सारे ब्लॉग यानी सारे नोट्स आपके पास ओपन हो जाएंगे जो भी अभी मैंने डाले हैं उनकी कैटेगरी यहाँ दी है आप सर्च बॉक्स से सर्च भी कर सकते हो और मान लीजिए हमें 8051 जीरो माइक्रो कंट्रोलर का इंट्रोडक्शन देखना है तो यहाँ से जब हम कंटिन्यू रीडिंग में जाएंगे तो हमको यूट्यूब के वीडियोज भी मिल जाएंगे इंग्लिश और हिंदी दोनों और उसके साथ साथ जितना भी मटेरियल मैंने YouTube वीडियो में बताया है वो सारी चीज़ें आपको यहाँ पे नोट्स के फॉर्म में मिलेंगी तो स्टे कंटिन्यू एंड कीप शेयरिंग माय वीडियो और इस वेबसाइट को अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ ज़रूर शेयर करिएगा क्योंकि आपको और आपके दोस्तों को इससे बहुत हेल्प Hello friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you what is diode its definition symbol and type of diode this is lecture number 10 of basic electronic series lecture number 1 to 9 i have already uploaded where i discuss what is semiconductor type of semiconductor n type p type semiconductor so for all these topic please refer my basic electronic playlist where i discuss all these topics and the link of the playlist i will give in my description box so let's start with the topic what is diode diode is the most important or most basic semiconductor device in field of electronics the term diode is the combination of two word di ode di means two and ode is derived from electrode so we can say that diode is a semiconductor device having two electrodes and the definition of diode is diode is a semiconductor device having two terminal anode and cathode that conduct only in one direction so we can say that diode is a unidirectional device that allow unidirectional flow of current here we see this is the symbol of diode having two terminal anode and cathode and this is the real diode uh, actually real diode is look like this uh, this vertical line is shown with the help of this silver band this silver band indicate that th this is the n side of the diode uh, from here we connect cathode terminal and the opposite side the left hand side this uh, is the p region of the diode from here we connect anode terminal an ideal diode will have zero resistance in forward direction or infinite resistance in reverse direction uh, diode is basically work like a switch it is also work like a valve for electrical circuits uh, diode is also work like a ac to dc converter it means diode is also work like a rectifier now the symbol of diode Uh, the symbol of semiconductor diode shown here uh, it having two terminal or two electrode name anode or cathode and this arrow indicate that the direction of conventional current through the device as i have already told diode is a unidirectional device that allow unidirectional flow of current from anode toward cathode this vertical line indicate that this is the n side of the diode from here we connect cathode terminal and the opposite side it means the left side this is the p side of the diode here we connect anode terminal so this is the whole description of symbol of diode now formation of diode to create a simple pn junction diode we take one p type semiconductor and one n type semiconductor material the material used for diode is semiconductor material such as silicon germanium gallium arsenide etc uh, for designing the diode silicon is more preferred ma semiconductor material as compared to germanium because silicon semiconductor work at high temperature compared to germanium diode now 
As I have already told, to form a simple PN junction diode, we take one N-type semiconductor material and one P-type semiconductor material. P-type semiconductor material having hole as a majority carrier and N-type semiconductor material having free electron as a majority carrier. When we join this P or N-type material, a PN junction is formed. Then we connect two terminal. At P side, we connect one electrode. This is called anode. And N side, we connect another electrode. This is called cathode. So this is called a simple PN junction diode. Now, biasing of diode. What do you mean by biasing? If we want to make current flow through the device, biasing is necessary. Or if we want uh, the diode is working, so biasing is required. So, uh, the proper definition of biasing is the process of applying external DC voltage to a PN junction semiconductor diode is called biasing. Biasing is required to make the current flow through the device. So there are two types of biasing, forward biasing or reverse biasing. But before I discuss the forward or reverse biasing, what happened when the diode is unbiased? It means when no external voltage apply across the terminal. When no voltage apply across anode or cathode terminal, a depletion reason is formed across the junction due to the potential gradient because P type having majority carrier holes and N type having majority carrier electron. These hole and electron get diffused and immobile ion collect near the junction. This immobile ion create a depletion region. This depletion region having a potential barrier and this potential barrier do not allow further movement of charge carrier across the junction and no current will flow across the device during the unbiased condition. So there are two types of biasing. First is forward biasing and second is reverse biasing. First we see what do you mean by forward biasing. In case of forward bias diode, P type reason or the anode terminal is connected to the positive terminal of battery and the N type reason or cathode is connected to the negative terminal of battery. When we apply this type of polarity, the diode is subjected to forward bias. Or in forward bias condition, due to the negative terminal of the external source is connected to N reason, free electron of N reason push toward the junction or push toward the P side. Similarly, the positive end of the supply will push hole of the P side to move toward the N side. With increase in the external supply voltage, more and more number of electron or hole start traveling toward the junction. The hole will start convert the negative ion into neutral ion and the electron will convert the positive ion into neutral ion. As the result of this, the width of the depletion region get reduces. Due to the reduction in depletion region width, the potential barrier across the junction is also get reduced even at a particular value of the voltage external voltage the depletion region get collapse there is no absolute opposition to flow of electron or holes a large number of tron and hole the majority carrier can cross the junction under the influence of external dc voltage the large number of majority carrier crossing the junction so a large current flow across the device this current is called forward current this current flow from anode to cathode but the applied voltage for this forward current is the applied voltage is greater than the barrier potential so for silicon diode barrier potential is 0.7 volt or for germanium diode it is 0.3 volt if the forward applied voltage is equal to the barrier potential or forward bias voltage, diode is act like a short circuit. Hence, no more voltage drop across the diode and large current flow from anode to cathode. This is called forward bias condition of the diode. Next is reverse bias condition. In case of reverse bias, 
P-type region is connected to negative terminal of battery. N-type region is connected to positive terminal of battery. If we connect this type of polarity, the device is subjected to reverse bias. In case of reverse bias, due to this negative terminal, majority carrier hole of P side move away from the junction in this direction and all the majority carrier electron of N type also move away from the junction and move this side. Due to the opposite movement of charge carrier, the width of the depletion region across the junction get increases and no current flow across the junction in reverse bias condition. But a small reverse leakage current is flow due in the device due to the movement of minority carrier. Because P side contain minority carrier electron, N side contain minority carrier uh, holes. So these electron of P side or hole of N side move toward the junction and a small reverse current flow across the device. This current is called reverse leakage current or reverse saturation current. So here I write in reverse bias condition a small current flow through the device called reverse saturation current due to the movement of minority carrier. If this reverse applied voltage continuously increases, the minority carrier electron and hole of the P or N side take kinetic energy and start acceleration. These accelerating electron or hole strike to the covalent bond near the junction. These covalent bond get break and generate large number of electron hole pair. These electron hole pair now start uh, move toward the junction and large reverse current flow across the device. This large uh, reverse current is very large that destroy the device. So to limit the reverse current, a external resistance is connected in series with battery. This resistance is called current limiting resistance. This resistance is used to protect the device from damage. So this is called reverse bias condition of the diode. Now the application of diode. Uh, as I have already told diode is work like a switch. When diode is in forward bias condition, it is work like a short circuit or closed switch or when it is work like work in reverse bias condition it is work like a open switch so a pn junction diode is used as a electronic switch in digital logic circuit next application of diode is diode is also work as a rectifier uh, a pn junction diode can be used to convert ac uh, alternating current into the direct current so these are the basic application of diode diode is mostly used in every electronic circuits. Now the type of diode, the various type of diodes are Zener diode, avalanche diode, photodiode, light emitting diode, laser diode, tunnel diode, short key diode, vector diode, PN junction diode. All these diode I will discuss one by one in my coming videos. So stay continue, keep watching my video and keep sharing my videos.